Let's take a look at multiplying and dividing numbers that are written in scientific notation. One way that you could multiply or divide numbers that are already written in scientific notation is to convert them back into standard form and then multiply and then possibly change it back into standard or into scientific notation. But oh, that seems like an awful lot of work. We can also leave the numbers in scientific notation and do the multiplication or division and then just make sure that our answer in the end is in scientific notation. So let's take a look at some examples of how exactly we would do this. First of all, we need to notice that the only operation that's going on in this whole expression right here is multiplication. It's 3.5 times 10 to the negative third times 5.8 times 10 to the fifth. So since it's all multiplication, I can just multiply the different pieces together that kind of go together. So these numbers, I can multiply those and I can multiply these 10 to a power things as well and that will help me to keep it in scientific notation and do the multiplication that I'm trying to do. So let's take 3.5 times 5.8 if we do that, we get 20.3. Okay, then we have times 10 to the, well, we're multiplying here. It's 10 to the negative third times 10 to the fifth. Well, that's going to give me, well, what do I do with the exponents? Remember, in a situation like this, we would add the exponents. It's just like if we had something like this, x to the third times x to the fourth, well, that means I've got three x's being multiplied here, four x's being multiplied here, I add the exponents. So again, going to add those exponents and end up with times 10 to the second. Now, is that number in scientific notation? No, it's not. Right here is a problem. I can only have one non-zero digit before the decimal, so I need to make this into 2.03. I need to move this decimal over one spot. So if I do that, then what happens to this power? Well, you may know, but oh, if you're just not sure, let's just focus on this part of it right now. So I'm just going to focus on this piece, and if I make 20.3 into 2.3, so if I did this, I would have to multiply by 10 to make it into that. Okay, so this thing is the same as that. Well, now I can bring this part down, so bring down that 10 squared, and then I can combine these two pieces to get my answer, which, go which is going to be 2.03 times 10. Well, that would be to the first, and then 10 squared, so that would be 10 to the third power. Now again, you could, of course, change each of those numbers into standard form and work it out and then convert it back but I think hopefully you'll get comfortable with this and be able to do that multiplication or division leaving the number in scientific notation alright let's take a look at this next one here very similar situation we have two numbers the only thing that's going on is multiplication so I can multiply the 7.2 and the 4.5 if I do that, that gives me 32.4. Then I multiply the 10 parts. So I have 10 to the negative fifth times 10 to the third. That's going to give me 10 to the negative second, adding those exponents. Okay, again, I have a situation here. I need this number to be 3.24. I have to make that change. Remember, only one non-zero digit. This number right here, when we're writing in scientific not notation, needs to be between 1, including 1, or less than 10. So between 1 and 10, not including 10. So there we are. Now, let's just take this piece right here, and I'm going to rewrite it as I need it. It's going to be times 10, okay, to get from this if I multiplied this by 10, it would give me that number right there. So I'm just pulling it apart. Then times this other 10, so 10 to the negative second. 
Then again, I add those exponents. Remember, this exponent is 1, so 1 plus negative 2 is going to give me 3.24 times 10 to the negative first. Okay, so there we are. All right, let's take a look at situation what happens when we're doing some division. So, again, I could break this up if I wanted to and think of it as just this thing, that division, and then this division, and work those pieces out separately. So, 1.4 divided by 7, that gives me 0 0.2. Okay, then this part right here, 10 to the 6th and 10 squared, well, when I'm dividing, I subtract the exponents. Remember, something like this, if we had x to the 3rd over x, okay, well, this would be just x times x times x on top and x on the bottom. I could cancel one of those out, so I would end up with x squared. So I'm subtracting those exponents. So 10 to the 6th and then 10 squared, subtract the exponents, I end up with times 10 to the 4th. Now, another issue here. This is not in scientific notation. I need one non-zero digit over here. So what I need this to become is 2. Okay, so how, what do I multiply by 2 to get point 2? Well, I would have to multiply by 10 to the negative first. Okay, so this thing right here, I rewrote that as this. Okay, so these are the same. Then I'll bring this down and we'll combine that part just like we did over here. And we have 10 to the negative first, 10 to the fourth. Those will combine to be 2 times 10 to the third, just like so. All right, let's try one more example here. Again, we're going to do that division. So 1.7 divided by 3.4, that gives us 0 0.5. Then subtract here. So 5 minus 9, that gives us negative 4, like so. Then this again is not in scientific notation. I need this to be 5, like so. Then I'm going to rewrite this, so that's times 10 to the negative first. That's how I make 5 into 0 0.5. Bring this down, times 10 to the negative fourth. Combine those two, so we have 5 times 10 to the negative fifth, and off we go. So, multiplying and dividing numbers in scientific notation, it's an alternative to writing them in standard form and having to work it out that way with all those zeros, Ugh, especially if you get some really big numbers or really small numbers. You can work with those numerical parts right there, and then the 10 to powers. We work with those pieces separately, and off we go. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.